think we're going to engage this in under the tower. Another thing that uh, you need to be aware of is Shaco is you can jump forward with your Q to get in range with your E. Uh, here comes my ult. I'm going to ult in there, try and do some preliminary damage. Alright, so obviously they know it's an ult, but they do kill it anyway, so that was a lot of damage. Uh, this Lux just talking a lot of shit unnecessary because she's pretty bad. Uh, I'm going 2 1 and 4. Not too bad, but I do have a lot of assist. Um, Jarvan, very tanky. Jarvan may go for the ult. I'm just waiting in the bushes and yeah, just waiting until they overextend a little bit more. Going to stack boxes because you never know when Uder's going to come. And when Uder comes, it's great to have a safe place. You can literally just run in the bushes and you're going to have some free attack. They're going to be feared. If you have to get away, you can get away. But if you want to engage, you can engage. So I'm going to try and do a little bit more harass with my E. Stack some more boxes. There's the engage. Jarvan going to ult. There's the stun, but I'm going to pick up this kill. I get ignited. I'm not really sure why they ignited me. And I want... I'm begging ass to come in these pushes. Um, just begging. I'm going to do some ease on her. Trying her ass a little bit. About 230 damage. So on the Lux with about 1,000 health, that's about a fourth of her health per E. Um, I haven't backed once for items, guys. This, I have no added AP other than my runes which are flat AP runes, so I don't even have that much AP. If I had just bought a um, Amplifying Tomb, I'd actually have the same amount of AP, roughly. Yeah, we see um, Lux trash-talking. She's going 0-3, and, and she's building a Madrid, so I think that's a giant blunder. Um, Jarvan is staying in lane surprisingly long for how little health he has, but he is that tanky, so I don't think it's a big issue. I'm trying to work on my um, Shaco uh, farm. But here I go with my ult. I'm going to try and do some damage. I take a turret shot. I take two shirt shots. This is so I'm at perfect level so that if she hits me once, I'm going to go down. And there goes the Ash. I'm not able to hit Ash. It was barely gets away. And this is, I think, a big mistake in my play. I'm going to go engage this. I'm going to put some boxes down around here so that if they do come after us, we do have an escape. A great Jarvan escape. They do scout me, and I'm kind of hoping they engage. But as I said, they're afraid of those boxes. Tristana actually does pick off Jarvan, which was a really unfortunate. I think Tristana is going to come and attack me or go back mid. Uh, as I was saying, just going to stack boxes here in case Uter does come for the gank. Um, and for right now, I get free farm and level. Uh, whenever you can out-level them as Shaco, that is just such a big advantage. He's so good depending on levels. Uh, we have Uter giving a little chase, but he's not going to engage me. He knows I've got boxes, and he should be afraid of that. Um, he would be kind of dumb. I'm just going to harass him a little bit. Level up my boxes again. He's not going to chase me. He knows I've got boxes. So I am going to start moving him in a more forward position so that I can possibly get him. Um, Jarvan going up top. I actually thought Jarvan was coming back. That was a big mistake. But there goes the arrow from Ash. Um, not going to get me. I'm just going to harass her with my E or miss with my E, one of the two. So clearly, I mean, depending on how you Shaco, you can Shaco and hold alone. Uh, this was a bit of a blunder. I mean, right when she did that eagle scout, it was really unfortunate. That was right when I popped my ult. So I'm just going to scout around with my ult. One thing that you really have to do with your ult is scout. I mean, it's basically a free a free life, I guess. Uh, I lost a little early there. I'm a little nervous engaging this. Or not engaging, but trying to get back to tower without taking too much damage. I want to bait him into the boxes because I did spend a lot of time setting that up, but... They're not going to fall for it. They know They know of Shaco's tricks now. Both of them I think I've killed from boxes or not. So this is probably one of Shaco's weakest things is holding a tower. Um, especially in a 2v1 with a solo, a, a someone who could solo as Ash. It's, it's kind of a pain. But I'm not going to give him this tower. Just going to harass with my E. Stack boxes when I can. Uh, try, and, try and remain mana neutral, but um, Shaco obviously is not a holder. I have 2v1 with Shaco. It does not go well. You are going to lose a turret. 
I get ulted, I flash, I ghost. You, you, I mean, they're not going to get me. Unless I make a big mistake, like engage Uter. He actually has lifesteal, so that was probably the biggest mistake I made. But I did set up Jarvan for an easy double kill. Um, he is going to get Ash. But I think that was one of my biggest mistakes in this game was actually engaging that. But it's alright. I had 3,600 gold. I had to back anyway, so. Hopefully, um, alright, so this is, <laughs> this is when you know you farmed very well and gotten good assists and good kills. I got a Sorcerer's Shoes and I'm able to pick up a Deathfire Grasp on my first time back. So, two great items. Sorcerer's Shoes going to give me a lot more damage. Deathfire Grasp also going to give me a lot more damage. And the Mana Regen and the reduced cooldown. So Deathfire Grasp just a fantastic item for Shaco because of that reduced cooldown and because of that mana regen. So I was going to come mid to help Mordekaiser with Tristana, but he's able to pick up the Tristana. Yeah, uh, 03 Lux versus Solo Yi is kind of a joke. They also lose their turret first and they're going to lose Yorick. So top, I mean our top really sucks. I was going to go up, but it's not worth it at this point. So, we are going to settle on getting this mid tower. I believe I popped my ult to get it. And just to get some more free minion farm. Actually, anyone who did not catch that, I just dodged Ash's arrow with my ult. I've never done that before. That was a complete accident. But if you time your ult just right, you can actually dodge a lot of things like zillion bombs, uh, Ash arrow. So, that was a pretty amazing play by Shaco on accident. <laughs> So just going to farm it up. Um, I am solo mid right now, which is not a problem because there's no one here. They are all Mia, and I think they dragoned at this point. I should have had boxes in position, but I obviously just got to mid, so it was a little late. I think I'm going to go scout dragon, or I'm going to head top. <sighs> I'm just going to pick up these um, wraiths real quick. Uh, if you guys don't have a jungle and you see just kind of like wolves sitting there or race in there and you can't actually farm because they're all Mia or something to that effect, it's always good to just pick up those wolves or pick up those wraiths because it's free gold and free XP. That is if you don't have a, a jungle. If you have a jungle, don't steal the jungle. Uh, Mordecai is a big engage here with Tristana. I'm actually looking at it, which is why you see the health bars. I'm going to flash ahead. Don't like what I see, so I'm going to quickly E that pick up that kill. I have a box in position in case they continue chasing. I believe I'm going to get a double kill right there with a great shiv. So, yeah, obviously good pickups. I picked up blue, which was awesome. Um, yeah, so Lux picking up a Magi is with 0-3. Um, I think that was a giant blunder. I'm just going to harass all day. Obviously doing a lot of damage, and we are going to pick up the Sona kill. So, uh, I'm starting my killing spree. Jarvan tanking the tower. Me and Jarvan are on Skype, so any of you guys who think I'm KSing Jarvan, he wants me to get those kills, trust me. Uh, so Mord may be going down. I'm just going to flash out of there and not get hit by the tower. Doing a decent damage. I mean, he's one level above me. But there's the power of APE right there. That is the only reason to go APE. That and the Alpha Strike, which does a ton of damage. But mainly, you just go APE for that heal. So my box is going to get me some kills. I think it's going to pick up two minions. It does pick up two minions. So that hero box, 50 gold. So with the blue and with the, those reduced cooldowns, you can get your box down to about 10 seconds. I think I've gotten it to 9 seconds. I'm not 100% sure. I'll check what cooldowns I'm up to. I actually am up to 40 cooldowns. So if you get... 40% cooldown, you can get your 9.6 boxes. So I'm going to start both stacking boxes there in defense um, if they come for us when we're dragon. Uh, obviously, this Lux just talking a lot of shit all game. It's kind of annoying. I really don't like players who talk shit during the game, especially when they're not doing very well themselves. And, and really, this Mordekaiser is playing very well, so I think it's really uncalled for and really bad manners. So Jarvan actually does scare Tristana. I was actually kind of mad at him for scaring Tristana. I think we will pick up the kill. Or not. Uh, Ash Arrow missing every single person. I'm going to use my ult. There we go. There's the Sona ult. Uh, Shaco's ult going in there. Going to do a lot of damage when it dies. Um, they're going to cower in these bushes. Tristana jumping after um, Jarvan. 
my ult going down, getting a kill off on so on um Hooter. Wow, sorry guys, just completely blank on me. And I'm gonna pick up the Sona kill, I believe. And that makes me unstoppable. I have zero health and I'm gonna run away. I also got a double kill with that box on Ash. So obviously I'm dominating. I got a double kill. Pretty good start for Shaco. Um I don't know if that's going to be GG or not, but that was a great team fight for Shaco. And with that, with those kills and with how much I've been fed lately, I am going to just pick up a Morales tomb right away. Going to give me that mana regen and those cooldowns. I'm also going to pick up, I think, an amplifying tomb for my Void Staff, or maybe I'm going straight for Rapidons. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to go straight for Rapidons, which is a great item pickup if you can get it early. Also, I mean, obviously, amazing late game, but... An early Rabadons on Shaco is a lot of damage. So with blue and red, uh, I am going to have a lot of damage with me. And I'm going to be a force to be reckoned with. I'm level 13. I'm about one away from our mid. One away from their mid. Um, but pretty high level for Shaco at this point. I did see this farm and I got all big eyes. And my ult does come back instantly with um, blue. It's about 54 seconds with a blue buff and 40% CDR. So, as you can see with a Morellos and a Deathfire Grasp, you actually get 40% CDR. Or not. 15, 20. Somehow adds to 40. Interesting. Alright, so somehow 15 plus 20 equals 40. Yeah, cooldown reduction is still 40%. I do not have CDR runes, so I'm actually really confused as to where those numbers are coming from. So, I'm going to just do a little harass, a little cute harass with... Um, with my E. Maybe hit Sona. I actually find Uder in there, and that would have been an amazing game.